back to my channel or welcome if you are new. So welcome to part 2 of me completing every Sims 3 lifetime wish. In the last part I got Master Romancer and for this part I rule the leader of the free world. The leader of the free world must be a passionate and charismatic politician who is always able to raise immense campaign funds. It is an un Eviable position that must constantly adjust to unexpected problems. The world needs great leaders, potentially like your sim. So the main goal is to reach level 10 in the political career track. As you can see, I made my guy here. His name is Joe Rutledge. So when I was creating him, the vibe I had in mind was like a corrupt politician. That's just the vibe that I went for. Um, the traits I rolled for him were vehicle enthusiast, gatherer, neurotic loves the outdoors and daredevil so i think that kind of gave the vibe of like a corrupt politician so honestly as i was going in this gameplay because it can get boring just going to the career again and again i caused a lot of drama with him which you will see as the gameplay progresses so let's just hop right into this um i got him his job as a podium polisher day one and then i also had him attend a charisma class because he wanted to and then I just had him start um, introducing himself to the people around town because he's going to have to get familiar with them to start asking them for campaign funds later on. He also got the wish to start gardening, so I had him attend the grocery store and then head to the park to meet some more people. Um, he was talking to Cornelia Goth, and for some reason, they just started not hitting off and they started fighting each other, which I mean, would you expect anything less from these videos? I mean, uh, Kelsey did it in the last part, so um, who's even shocked? But anyway... He starts to, um, dancing with Judy Bunch, and I think it's a little silly. Um, and then he, I went ahead and had him go home, and he um, planted all of the things he bought at the grocery store. Um, um, this is the next date. This is his work attire, which I thought was really interesting. But um, uh, he was done with work and decided he wanted to go to the summer festival. And he entered the hot dog eating contest, which he actually loses to a little kid, which is quite embarrassing. But you know what? I mean, what can you do about it? And now I just had him head home. I wanted him to get his charisma skill up until he went to bed. Next day he went to work and he got a promotion. So first promotion of the part. Um, this is him eating pizza because I tried getting him to invite his boss over, but she would refuse to. This is him at the library reading um, the charisma book to gain his skill. And then for leisure day, I had him throw a pool party so he could talk to more people and make some friends. Um, I also, Vita Alto was throwing a party, so I went to her house and they started hitting it off and she becomes really important later on. So they just started talking to that and he rolled the wand to kiss her for the first time, so keep that in mind. Um, he went to work, I think the next day, and he rolled the wish to go to dinner with Nick Alto. Look at this fancy car. And I also had him in a pink suit, which I think is silly. Look. Why is he serving? Like, why is he actually serving? But anyway, um, next day he's back, he's just doing some gardening. And he just continues to practice his skill, to be honest. These, like, career ones are not as intense. But Vita had another party, and he decided to go for it. He wanted to kiss her, so he started flirting with her. And she was totally into it when they became good friends. So he they kissed in the bathroom, which I think is so romantic. Isn't that so romantic? Wouldn't you want your first kiss to be in the bathroom? But anyway, they woo in the shower. And then he invited her next day over to this house so they can make it a little bit more official. So they woo as you can see here and then i think i also decided to give her a makeover i actually asked tried asking her for a promotion because she is his boss but i guess being a romantic interest can only get you so far but as you can see i gave her a little bit of a makeover because if you're going to be with my sim you need to look at least a little decent um i bought him this multitasker lifetime wish because it says it'll help him with his career and then um they tried for a baby and she just threw up in the front of my house and there's just an alien outside which i think I just love the chaotic energy. He went to work the next day and got a promotion, which I, he flew through this career really, really fast. Like, this video is short. Um, and then he decided to just accuse Vita of cheating out of nowhere, which he literally knew that she was cheating on her husband. So I just cheated their relationship back up because that doesn't make any sense because he wouldn't know. But anyway, um, she actually asked him to be her boyfriend and he said yes. So that was from the Deep Conversations mod. And so I respond to that again, and they he just keeps she just keeps kissing him, and then she actually proposes marriage, which of course he's gonna say yes because this snacks him a great spot to be a politician. Like if he's with the boss, come on. And he goes to work, and he actually gets another promotion, so now he can ask for campaign do donations. And um, here he asked for her for a campaign, and he gave she gave him ten thousand simoleons. Next day he wakes up, and this is his work attire. He was completely naked. I had to censor it. I was like, what? Why was that your work attire? So I had to go into creative and fix that. 
Anyway, he went to work at, oh my god, she's in labor. She, he literally, she got into labor in front of the city hall. But anyway, they went to the hospital, and they had a boy named Broderick. Very interesting name. Just, that's all I can say. But anyway, she, he went back to the house and started playing with his kid a little bit. And obviously, since Nick is here, they became enemies because she, he told her to break up with him. So, um, he beat his ass. And then we just had yogurt at his house because how can you beat my ass like that and not expect me to eat food? Anyway, he decided to go to the club for a little bit because he had a bachelor party. He threw a bachelor party. And spoiler, he, um, he got with the dancer. Yeah. I just think it's so funny that her name is Sparkles because, like, that just gives such, like, bachelor party vibe but anyway he tried inviting her back home to do more but then she just left but yeah he did cheat but i mean i did say he'd be like a crow politician um anyway the next day he went to um, his job got a promotion and he invited sparkles over to celebrate as you can see and literally minutes later he invited vita over so good thing they did not pass by each other or that would have been awkward so they actually exchanged rings right in front of him like the deep conversations might make them exchange rings so i was like okay what, what am i to to stop this so um he moved into the big mansion they have as you can see here this place is so huge i didn't even know how to handle it but anyway um he's moved in now and then they go ahead um broderick's birthday was the next day so he blew out the candles for broderick and then he became a toddler and then he had joe had a moment he like thought to himself he's like this is not what i want to do with my life this is not what i want to do so you know what i'm gonna do divorce so he said you know what Vito? i don't want you you're out i'm taking this house goodbye because this was never his plan. He just wanted to get up, and then he, he, she wasn't even his boss anymore, so he was like, what is the point? So he kicked her and the baby out, and he has this whole place to himself. I gave him a little purple suit, because I thought that would be a little silly. So yes, this is him. Anyway, um, this whole house was so huge, so it was just him all living by it, so I got him a baller and everything. I also threw a campaign fundraiser, but I just had everyone leave at the end, but they did not a good amount of money. Um, the baller gave him a massage, and spoiler, they kissed. Um, Joe kind of, he flocks with everybody, like, he just saw the vibes from the butler, the butler even asked him to be his boyfriend, he said yes, so, um, it just happened all too fast, I'm gonna be honest, towards this point I was getting a little bored, I wanted to spice it up, um, they were who, as you can see, um, I wanted to spice it up a little bit, cause all we were doing was going to work and gaining the Christmas skill, um, he went to the park and saw Nick, and obviously they started bickering, and Nick beat his ass once again, so, he never won a fight, um, he just had to skinny dip in the pool, cause it's his house, so, like, why not? Um, and this is him waiting outside of Vita's house so he can, he can see his son. He waited for, like, five hours in the cold. Um, this was when I remember that he had a son, honestly. I kind of forgot for a little bit, and so did he. So he, like, waited out there for hours, and she would not open up. Um, the butler decided to just sleep in the bed, even though I had him assigned in another one, which I mean, they're boyfriends, I guess, so whatever. Um, he got a promotion. He's flying through this career really fast, to be honest. And he finally made it to Vita's house and went, played with Broderick. So it's just a funny name. Every time I say that name, I literally giggle, but he just, like, tickled him and gave him some attention. Probably the only attention he gives me for the rest of the episode, I think. And then he, he did the moment kisses Vita, and what does Vita do? Take him back, because, like, why wouldn't she? Why wouldn't she? And they woohoo. So, um, talk about, what, what type of trope even is this? This is, like, friends to lovers to enemies to lovers again. Like, is that the trope? Anyway, um, Broderick was looking really weird right here, and I just needed to show you guys, because why is this actually terrifying? Um, uh, Zelda just asked him out on a date, so, of course he just heated the moment kisses her, because why wouldn't he, but obviously she wasn't effing with that, because, like, they just started the date. Um, you know, Joe, he's his own special person, he, he got some quirks to him, that's all I can say. But anyway, he went home, woohooed with the butler really quickly, because, why not? And danced to some music, because he's living the life right now, he's about to be president. Um, he got promoted at work to vice president, so he's one level away from being president of the sim world. Oh, we were in Sunset Valley, I didn't even mention that, but... Um, he actually, um, it was his adult birthday, so I had it at this club here. Um, he blew out his candles and kissed Sparkles at the party, and his boyfriend was right there, so his boyfriend was gonna accuse him of cheating, but then the game bugged out. So instead, he just kissed his boyfriend in front of Sparkles, and she was gonna accuse him of cheating, but the game bugged out again, so. Anyway, this is him completing his lifetime wish of being president of the sim world. I flew it by it pretty fast, I think, because I just had to work hard every single day. So that's why I added all that drama during it, because I thought it would be really boring if you just saw him go to work consistently. And I don't know, I got through it pretty fast. It was about two hours of real time. But yeah, this is him. Uh, I didn't even work on his Christmas school toward the end, because he was just getting his like thing up without even getting the Christmas school, so I kind of just gave up. But anyway, that was this. Um, you guys can let me know if I speed through it too much. Let me know if you'd rather them be longer. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I hope you guys are having a great day now wherever you guys are. Um, and please stay tuned. See you guys next time. Bye.